Wes here. And Rebecca. And welcome to day 26 of Shocktoberfest 2023. So throughout cinema history, a lot of adaptations have happened throughout many decades, whether it be adaptations on cartoons, books, even board games. That being said, we're going to be talking about the 1985 John Landis classic, Clue. So, there's a good chance most of you know the concept or the premise of the board game Clue. A group of people go to a mansion for a dinner party, somebody gets murdered, and then they have to figure out who done it. Who done did do it. Who done did do it. However, there's a twist to this story. All the party members are people that are involved in government jobs, and they're all being blackmailed. And then they got to figure out who's blackmailing who, and then people start getting killed off one by one by one, whether it's the cook, whether it's the maid, whether it's people just coming by in the middle of the night. And then eventually everybody starts figuring out who killed who and who was responsible for everything. Ba -na -na -na. I mean, that is pretty much the film. I mean, I could go into a whole detail with names of all the characters, but the fact of the matter is, most of you already know all the names of the characters, so we're just going to go ahead and say that. Now it's time to talk about what we like and we don't like about the film. I mean, I'm going to go first on this one. Uh, I love the cast. I mean, you pretty much have the who's who of a lot of people from the 80s. You have Tim Curry, you have Christopher Lloyd, you have Leslie Ann Warren, you have Martin Mull. You have, I mean, oh gosh, I mean, it's not that I'm forgetting names, I'm just laughing about it so much. I just... You have so many talented individuals in this movie that just make it so funny, and at the same time, funny even with the death scenes happening, and one thing that really makes me happy is that even though it's supposed to be kind of like a murder mystery, they don't show a lot of blood. I mean, it's a very, it's considered kind of family friendly, even with some of the uh, tongue-in-cheek double entendres and things like that, but a very well-rounded movie. I would have to agree. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I, while I don't know all the actors and actresses as well as Bob Men West does, like, even I was recognizing faces and I had a good time laughing along with them. The quirkiness, the, I don't know, just the quirkiness of the jokes that were there, it, I don't know, it was just, it was a fun overall movie. Uh, yeah, it's, this is a movie that I could watch any time of the year, and I'll probably watch it multiple times just because it's just, it's hilarious. It's one, it's definitely one of those movies that you can quote along with. Oh, we're going to be watching it again. Oh, yeah. I mean, another, it's, uh, there's some ironic twi things about it, not necessarily about, you know, the movie itself, but just kind of the things regarding people that are in the movie that were in other movies that kind of they kind of blend together like Tim Curry being Wadsworth the butler he's the one opening the door and people are talking about their car broke down outside the road yet about almost 10 years prior to the, this movie he was in Rocky Horror Picture Show where somebody else's car breaks down on the road and then they need the phone and yeah that's that's pretty cool, but uh, there was one thing else that I noticed about this movie, or found out for trivia-wise, and I remember, and I was letting Rebecca know about it while we were watching. So in the film, when they try to figure out who did it, there's theoretically three different endings to the film. And I found out when the movie went out in theaters back in 1985, certain theaters got a specific ending. And then, what, what makes that funny is that when people say, Oh, I went to go see Clue, it was really cool to see who, who you know, that this person was the murderer. Wait, that's not true. I went and saw it here, and they said they were the murderer. Yeah, but <laughs> on the DVD that came out um, a while back, they actually have a feature on the DVD where you can watch it, either they will automatically throw in an ending, or you can watch the movie in its entirety with all three endings. So, I think that's pretty cool and innovative. Absolutely innovative. It's, it kind of keeps you, it makes me want to watch it again too, to see what else I can catch. Things that I didn't necessarily catch watching it the first time to kind of rain into, oh, that's the murder. Okay. <laughs> right. Like it, all, all three endings make perfect sense. So it'd be, in, I, I'm 
curious to watch it again uh, for that reason. I can confirm. <laughs> when it comes to things that I don't like, I, 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 I can't really think of much. I mean, I, I, yeah, there's nothing I don't like about this film. I got nothing. I got nothing. I, I got, got nothing. I got nothing because, you know, just, uh, yeah. Make sure you watch it if you haven't yet. Oh, yeah. Or if you have watched it, watch it again. <laughs> and again and again and again. And again and again. <laughs> All right, time to grade Clue. But you know what? I'm screw it. I'm going to be biased A+. Plus. I, this is uh, the skill... I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm going with an A+. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, hey, everyone's in town with their opinion, but when you say a movie like that is an F, it's like, Ooh. No, 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 no. So, like, honey, there'll be some fighting words. I was kidding. I, I know, I know. So it looks like back-to-back -back, uh, days, we have some, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Yeah, unanimous, unanimous, unanimous. Unanimous votes, look at us go. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Boom. All right, we hope you enjoyed our quick little review on Clue. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, and if you don't necessarily agree, you can leave a thumbs down, but just mark mark your words, choose your words wisely. Other than that, make sure you share on social media, and especially push that little red button and ring the bell for instant notifications. Until then, Walt Man West, I'm Rebecca, and we will see you tomorrow for day 27 of Shocktoberfest 2023 with a very special episode. Take care, and as always, stay scared, kitties.